Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the partial fraction decomposition of this given rational expression. And by the way, this is our episode number four. Let's go ahead and get started. We know in the denominator, we have uh, linear factors. So we are going to put down, since there are two fractions, I'm going to put down x plus 2 for the first one and then plus x minus 3 for the second one. And on the top is going to be a constant a for the first fraction and constant b for the second. And now our task is to find the value of a and b. Let's go ahead and get started. Very first thing, we are going to look at this denominator right up here on the left hand side. Whatever this amount is, whatever this thing is, we are going to multiply this thing across the board. I'm going to multiply x plus 2 times x minus 3 with this fraction. Likewise, x plus 2 times x minus 3 and same thing, x plus 2 times x minus 3. Now, the next step is, let's look at this thing. As you can see that these two factors cancel with this one, so we just simply ended up with x plus 7 on the left-hand side equals to, as you can see, this x plus 2 cancel with this x plus 2, so we ended up with a times x minus 3. 3 plus and then you can see that this x minus 3 cancel with this x minus 3 so we ended up with b times x plus 2 so far so good and i am going to call this equation number 1 and in the next step, we have a, this quick trick. It says, look for the linear factors in the denominator. Look at on this side, there are two linear factors in it. One is x plus 2, the other one is x minus 3. I am going to set these one. I'm going to write down x plus 2. And on this side, I'm going to write down x minus 3. I'm going to set both of them equal to 0. Always just do like this thing. So first x value is going to be negative 2. And the second is going to be x equal to positive 3. So we're going to be using these two values right now. And now in the next step, we are going to look at this x equal to negative 2. All right. When we look at the x equal to negative 2, this is what I said, put x equal to negative 2 in this equation number 1. That means wherever we see x, we're going to replace it by negative 2. Let's do that one over here. So this is simply is going to become, question become negative 2 plus 7 equal to a times negative 2 minus 3 and let's look at this part over here x when we replace it by negative 2 this become negative 2 plus 2 that's going to give us 0 so 0 times b is this whole thing is simply is going to become 0 so i am just going to write down simply 0 over here so let's simplify now on the left hand side that's going to be 5 equal to negative 5 a that gives us a equal to negative 1 and now in the next step we are going to look at this next x value which is 3 so this is what i put down put x equal to 3 in equation number 1 like we did before okay so this simply when we replace x by 3 that's going to become 3 plus 7 equal to now let's look at this thing when we put 3 over here 3 minus 3 is going to become 0 0 times a this whole thing is simply is going to become 0 
So that's the reason why I am going to put down a zero right up here plus B times this is going to be 3 plus 2. Let's simplify that one. So we got 10 on the left hand side equal to 5B which tells us that B turns out to be simply 2. So that's our A value turns out to be negative 1 and B equal to 2. And here in our fraction, wherever we see A, we are going to replace it by negative 1. And wherever we see B, we are going to replace it by 2. And here is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.